hey everyone and welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be a little different i basically done this full set of nails on myself however i decided to split each finger into a single video as then it could just be a little bit more in depth so this is the first now that i'm going to be showing which is my middle finger so i'm using cjp crystal glass peach sorbet and then my own mix of white which is snow white and crystal glass um, and then I'm using that Trilogy glitter and then the other orange glitter I'm afraid I don't know where that's from so I've basically sculpted a clear base and I've then filed and buffed it all over so I have a nice basically smooth canvas to work on However, it is super, super thin. It's my first time sculpting in a very long time. I basically always use tips and then every now and then give sculpting a practice. So I'm coming in with that peach sorbet at the cuticle area and then pulling it down the nail. So I hope you enjoy watching this sort of like mini series i'm going to try and upload each nail um so one nail every day basically until all five are uploaded so yeah let me know what you think in the comments below and if it's something you enjoyed then maybe i'll do it again when doing my own nails i never usually do a full set in one go um i sort of do it in between the kids and stuff so that was why I decided to have a go at videoing it this way so I could get a video up and yeah it was basically quite fun to do and um, I was really looking forward to putting it up on my channel so I'm just fading that down but not worrying too much about it then I'm coming in with that mix of white on the free edge and I'm basically just going to fade it down slightly, but I'm not creating like an ombre. It doesn't matter if it doesn't meet the peach. It's just to make sure that that tip area is fully covered in white. As in, in between the peach and the white is where the glitter is going to be. So this set of nails was originally inspired by Pretty Little Claws on YouTube. So I will leave her channel linked below and she basically did a nail tip very very similar to this one and then I had a play around at rec recreating it and then decided I wanted to do a full set on myself based around that. So I'm then coming in with the glitter. So this is Trilogy's Valencia Hollow and it's a really fine gold hollow glitter. So I'm just placing that in between the white and the peach and I've picked that up with just a small bead of clear acrylic. I'm just patting it down to make sure that it is all nice and smooth. Again, I'm not worrying about creating a fade or anything like that. And then just on the top of that, I'm coming in with that orange hexagon glitter. I am really sorry that I can't remember where it's from. It's one I've had in my kit for a very long time. But I just wanted to add it over the top of the gold glitter just to give a bit more of dimension to the nail. So once that has set, I've gone on in and I've capped it in clear acrylic and built up the rest of my structure. And then off camera, I did pinch these nails, so I made sure the acrylic had gone matte and then come in with my pinching tool and then filed it into shape and filed away any bulk. And then as you can see here, I'm just coming in and buffing that. So then I'm using Kiki London, I think this colour is Blackpool, but I will leave everything in the description box below so do check that out and then I'm using my DMN Beauty Fine Liner brush so I actually really really like this brush for nail art it's really nice quality 
Um, in each video, I'm going to try, you know, so I'll try to leave bits of different things. So there is going to be a smile line, ombre, so that each one can be a little bit more detailed. As when I do a full set, I don't usually like the video to be too long. So I end up speeding it up quite a lot. So it leaves out lots of little details. So I thought this was another reason why it was good splitting each now into an individual video. So here I'm just coming on and using that black gel just to create some leopard spots over the gold area and then over the white area I'm going to do the zebra stripe pattern. So I'm not worrying too much about it being perfect as I think with animal print you know it's one of those things where it doesn't actually have to be really really perfect to still look nice. And then I'm just coming in with a dotting tool and dotting that same black gel polish on. So I'll just let you continue watching this next bit and then I'll pop back in in a mo. So once I've finished painting that on, I've cured it in my LED lamp for 60 seconds and then I'm coming in with my CJP Tack Free Top Gloss and top coat in this nail. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions, please pop them in the comment box below and I'll get back to you. Um, the next video is going to be the ring finger, which is a full glitter nail. So do check out, I should hopefully have that up on my channel tomorrow. Um, and yeah, the rest will follow. So I will just cure that as well for 60 seconds. And then once I've left it to cool, I'm coming in with this cuticle oil, which is also from CJP and one of my favorites as I absolutely love the smell. And then I'm just gonna massage that into my cuticle area. My cuticles do look really, really dry. Whenever I soak my nails off in acetone, it leaves the, my skin super dry. So, yeah, sorry about that. So that's the finished result. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.